This is the PJ&B Farm Partnership overview of the 9120 Case Combine. So we're going to do a walk through, just point out some of the components on the combine. So starting at the front, we have the whole feeder house. So this whole housing, we call it the feeder house. Your feeder chain takes the crop inside. Over here we have the hydraulic connection and that attaches to the header of the combine. We have our electrical connection and so these are the storage areas. <coughs> this lever is for connecting and locking your header onto the combine. This is your PTO sh connection area where your PTO shaft will connect from the header and then that will drive your header components. Um, over here we have the rock trap that opens and closes feeder house lock, you need to lock your feeder house in the upward position. Um, there's a gearbox here that takes oil. Fire extinguishers on the ladder, there's usually extinguishers up by the engine as well. Um, <coughs> Over here we've got uh, our side shields that can access the rotors and to remove those there's just the panel latch there and up here and the panels can come off for in inspection. So up in here these, these red pieces are called your concaves and inside there is your rotor. Your rotor and concaves together work for separating the grain. This area here with all the chain and sprockets that is your uh, grain, your clean grain unloader. So all of that will work together and unload the grain into the truck or the cart. Down below here is the, the fan which will clean your grain. Um, your shaker shoe drive. The, this mechanism over here, the, the one, two, and three is your different rotor speeds. So for different crops, we may have to move that lever for adjusting rotor speed. We've got a battery disconnect. So at, we always turn that off at the end of the day in case there's any power that's left on. So that'll be on and then that's off. We've got our batteries for the combine. If ever boosting, you always boost on the right side battery. And there's a display here that will tell you, you always go on the number two battery. So on that, that display there, it's covered in oil right now, but so boost on the right side, hydraulic filters, um, your chopper drive, uh, if you ever need to go into a low speed or high speed, there's a coupling here that you slide back and forth to change the speed. Inside, just go inside and shine the camera. So those, those silver fins, those are called your sieves. And then towards the top is your chopper. And those are all your chopper blades. And then there's stationary knives that go inside. Okay, and then back here is your, your spreader. And that'll spread all of the chaff evenly throughout the field. So here's the area where you will enter to look at your engine and other components up there. So I'll just show how the ladder goes up and down. So it's in the down position right now. And to make it go up, and then make sure this gets locked in. Stuff like that. So now you can bring it back down. So up around the back of the engine, I'll go over some of the different components. 
around the engine. Here's your hydraulic reservoir. Um, coolant reservoir. Your engine, obviously. So to add engine oil, we have a cap here. This is your fuel filter. Engine oil filters, there's two of them. Um, PTO, oil level dipstick and rotor gearbox dipstick. Over here is your alternator. Right here, this green is your engine oil dipstick. Over this side of the engine, we have our cooling fan that cools the radiator. We've got our belts that drive that. Over, oops, stand by right now. Over here, we have the access to the radiator and just back behind here if you can shine the camera up there there's a <clears throat> and a latch right here that will open up and then you have access to the radiator so you want to make sure that's clean here is where the fuel goes in whenever you're fueling up make sure it's clean around here no dirt or oil before opening the fuel cap over here we have fire extinguisher. Most of the combines will have one or two fire extinguishers up around the engine area. Here we have the air filter for the engine. To open it up and clean, you have all these latches that pop open. And so this will pop off and you have You'll have an outer air filter and an inner air filter. The outer one is the only one that you will ever clean. The inner air filter, it can damage it if you blow air. So only clean out this outside air filter when doing maintenance. Here on the back spreader system, sometimes you'll need to open this area up for different servicing and what you can do. Pull this latch here. Um, there is a manual sieve adjustment if needed. So there's switches here for opening and closing the different sieves. We have an access panel here at the bottom. So we can pull that lever. And on the other side as well. And that'll give us access for viewing things in the bottom and inspecting the bottom sieve. Um, over this lever here. Let's get you to come over here. So here we have an adjustment for your pre-sieve. And so that should <coughs> open and close the pre-sieve. And it's, you'll need to know that for different combine settings. Here we have a fuel shutoff for the fuel tank. This whole plastic reservoir is your diesel fuel. So that is closed and that is open. We have the fuel electronic fuel pump. There's a water separator in behind. This whole area underneath this cover is your rethrasher. So grain that is not fit to spec to go into the tank will come through here, get rethrashed, and then put back through the combine to hopefully come into your clean grain elevator. All of your clean grain goes into here. It'll go up this elevator into the grain tank. Um, different belts for driving the components. Here's your clean grain fan. So that'll supply the, the wind speed for blowing all the chaff out of the combine and straw. Here's your shaker shoe arm that will run off an eccentric, driving the whole shaking shoe mechanism. More panels for accessing the rotor. Um, up 
below the shifting cable for the rotor speed, we have this lever here. And you can see there's a, a sign behind there that, so that is for adjusting the height of your stationary blades. Usually we want them all the way in. If we're ever dropping straw, then we will move them out. So we keep them all the way down, locked in, and it'll do a good job for straw management. Inside the cab, we'll go over some controls. We have our turn signal. We have the header lights. We have a horn here. When you push that, battery's off. Um, down here, your four-way flashers to move the steering column up and down. There's a little foot pedal there to adjust, as well as this adjustment here. On the right side, your controller, forward, reverse. We've got your reel buttons here, so up on the reel, down on the reel, reel out, reel in. And then behind we have a second function right here. So that'll activate your knife tilt. So we would push the knife tilt and then that would tilt the knife forward, tilt, tilt the knife back. <clears throat> unload green, unload auger out, unload auger in, header up, header down, header tilt left, header tilt right, your auto header height resume. Over here your parking brake off, parking brake on, separating system on and off, and it can activate your reverser for your D-slug. Header on off, real speed, auto real speed. Most of the time you'll click that button and it will automatically increase and decrease your speed throughout operation and speed. Um, the, your auto header height settings. When you're transporting, you will push this and it will increase your speed. We don't usually use those buttons for auto feeder speed, rotor speed, decrease and increase, fan speed, increase, decrease, concave clearance, increase and decrease, engine RPM, full and idle, sieve adjustment, so your upper sieve increase and decrease, lower sieve increase, decrease, auto steer, you click and hold that till it beeps, and then it'll engage auto steer, your spreader speed, increase, decrease, so your key for startup over here, radio, two-way radio. Left side is our light switches, your beacon, windshield washer, wiper blades, um, climate control. This button here folds your green tank extensions out and in for transport, mirror adjustments. And then on the left side here, is our fuse panel with all of the fuses behind there we have the indications for for all of the fuses 